Hi guys, it's Erica. How's everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. There's been a lot of different shifts and changes. This year has been pretty crazy. It's not even feeling like summer yet. It feels like it's like spring-ish right now. So it's been a very different year for a lot of different people. I've been working with many more people telling me what can I do to make myself feel better? How can I let go of things? What um, what are some recommendations when I'm gone after I've had my session and feeling good? Um, what can I do afterwards? So one of the things that I have really gotten into the habit of is teaching people how to separate their energy from other people, which it sounds very mystical but it's actually really effective and really based in the world we are around people all the time we are constantly picking up on people's energy if someone's angry if you are driving down the road and you see someone just whip past you and do that fun little i'm gonna go as fast as i possibly can just to be able to meet you at the stoplight I know that for me it causes frustrations. I'm not perfect and I don't have the ability to just not feel anything. But protecting myself and what I feel is really important because we're the ones that are living with those energies, that frustration, that anger, that upsetness. It's all inside of us and we're creating it. And the more that we're aware of how it's affecting us, the better that you feel internally. So how do you do this? It's super simple, super easy, and we're going to walk through it a little bit today. So I always do a count with my breathing. It is kind of a meditation and it's more of an active meditation, which if you're someone that doesn't like meditation, just know that a lot of the things that people say about meditation is a misconception. Like you have to have nothing in your mind and that you'll see these euphoric things well yeah you do too but it doesn't mean that my mind doesn't go a million miles an hour sometimes so what I like to do is breathing techniques it really helps me get more focused more aligned so what I do is I breathe in four count and out six And why in four, out six? Well, out six, I want to get everything out. It's almost to me like you are completely disinflating a balloon and any of that stagnant air that is stuck in your lungs is being just pushed out, fully, fully released. So in four, out six, When I start to, for me, it gets, it's a lot quicker of a process now because I've practiced, but everyone is going to be at their own pace in their own time. So once you feel a little bit relaxed and just in your body and comfortable, then you can say it out loud or you can say it in your head. You can do it with your eyes closed or open. You can do this in a room full of people. You can do this by yourself in the bathroom. It doesn't matter. It works anywhere and everywhere. So what you start to think is, I call on my energy. And most people will start to feel a shift, a little bit of change. I call on my energy. Another way to do it is, my name is, or I am Erica. I am Erica because we are literally creating boundaries and defining who I am and what's mine. And then once you felt like those little shifts, you say, I give back the energy that does not belong to me. Some people will feel some lightness. Some people will feel relief. Some people will feel some separation. And everyone experiences it differently. Don't judge yourself on what it is that you feel. Just know that these are the variety of examples. There's a lot of different ways that someone can experience it. But 
while you are doing that, you're breathing and you're saying, I call on my energy. This is my energy. This is my energy. So it's really defining, clarifying, saying this is mine. And then this is yours. Some people have trouble letting go of something that they want to hold on to for someone else. And what I say to that is you're actually taking someone else's ability to be strong in themselves, to carry their weight, to be able to process their own emotions. So I give you back your energy. And if it helps, I give you back your energy with peace and with love. Because we don't want to do anything out of hate. We don't want to do anything out of anger. We want to do it out of peace, out of love, out of giving. And it's, I am giving to myself right now because I can't take on everything that I have going on plus yours, plus theirs, plus theirs, plus theirs. Because I already have four kids. So do I really want four kids energy on me plus mine, plus my husband, plus anyone that's around me. No, we want to be able to take care of ourselves first. And that is filling your cup. That is self love. It is saying, I am here for what I can control. But if it's out of my control, then I'm not going to take on that power, that energy, that weight on me. So just remember, breathe in, four deep in, six deep out. And then visualize what your energy is. Create that separation of this is mine, this is who I am, this is what I need, and then this is yours. I'm, I'm going to give that back to you with love, with light, and I'm not going to be responsible over how you feel. I will be there for you and support you, but it's your job to process that energy. So I hope that this was helpful, and if you guys have any questions please comment down below let me know if this helped you if you want more practices like this because my plan is to see if you guys like it and enjoy it and if you do then we'll keep working on it thank you and have a wonderful day